Hey there, folks. Welcome back. So, what is the truth about Mark and Patricia McCloskey? And, of course, if you haven't seen these people, I'm sure you know who they are. They've made for all these fantastic memes in the last week, haven't they? I mean, I've been really curious about what really happened with these two because they've been in the news. They're the couple that were out in front of their house with a couple of guns while peaceful Black Lives Matter protesters walked by. And I was like, there's got to be more to this story. So I wanted to dig into it. And like I said, it's been some pretty entertaining memes with these two. I'll be showing them off and on through this because they are hilarious. They are hilarious. But the news report says, and I'm going to read this here. This is off the Daily Mirror of all newspapers, right? It says, the gun-toting couple drew their weapons on nearly 300 peaceful protesters in St. Louis, Missouri on Sunday who had demanded the resignation of the local mayor, Lida Krusen. Right? And it says, this is the chilling moment, and they show the picture of the couple standing out in front of their house, which is basically most of the images that you're seeing. You're not seeing images of the crowd itself, and that's by design. Okay? It says, this is the chilling moment a married couple pulled guns on protesters during a peaceful Black Lives Matter demonstration in the U.S. And you know it's a foreign newspaper. They want to make us look bad anyways. The pair brandished a handgun and an automatic weapon at the gathering which took place in St. Louis, Missouri on Sunday. That's not an automatic weapon, first of all. And it, it, it's the subtleties in how these things are written that you really got to pay attention to. You know, if you know anything about firearms, you know it's not an automatic weapon, only the military. And certain licensed collectors are allowed to have an actual automatic weapon in the United States. It's semi-automatic, which means it only works with each trigger pull. There's no emptying of the magazine when you pull the trigger. That's an automatic weapon's ability. That's not an automatic weapon that he had. It's a semi-automatic weapon, but they want to make it sound more dramatic. So, the pair brandished a handgun and an automatic weapon at the gathering which took place in St. Louis, Missouri on Sunday. Reports say that around 300 people had broken down the entrance of a gated community. Stop right there. I thought it was a peaceful gathering. I thought this was a peaceful protest because the other reports are that they had been damaging property. And the fact that they broke this gate down to this private property to this gated community in the first place kind of attributes to that. If it's a peaceful protest, they're not breaking down gates and marching through private neighborhoods. All right. So reports say that around 300 people have broken down the entrance of a gated community and attempted to march past when the confrontation took place. The gun-toting couple, named locally as lawyers Mark and Patricia McCloskey, uh, McCloskey, by the way, currently has open cases whereby he is defending black people that have been assaulted. Think about that. Let that sink in a little bit while we go on here. Angrily warned protesters to stay away from their home in the wealthy, predominantly white neighborhood of Forest Park. And they can't call it a white neighborhood because there are a lot of black people who live there. So they say predominantly white to make it sound worse than it is. And it says, one video circulating on social media shows the woman holding her gun at a protester wearing a hands up, don't shoot t-shirt. You want to see that picture? Here it is. Guy is holding a rifle. Does that look like unarmed peaceful protesters to you? No. And find, like I said, finding images of pictures with the crowd as opposed to just this couple in front of the house getting very difficult. Very difficult. So what do they have to say about it? Because I'll tell you what, if, uh, if I'm in a gated community and a group of 300 people break the gate down and are marching through my neighborhood screaming and yelling and carrying weapons, I want to defend my property. Okay? You can say whatever you want. Oh, they hadn't done anything yet. That doesn't mean anything. Just because they hadn't attacked that house doesn't mean that they wouldn't have. All right? You can't be too sure. You can't know anymore. And it's real easy to be an armchair quarterback and speculate about what you would or would not have done when you were never there and probably never faced anything like that in your life. You don't know what you're going to do until you're in it. 
or in the shit, as they used to say. And I know there's some people watching this that know what I'm talking about. So what does Mr. McCloskey have to say about it? Well, here's a quote from Mr. McCloskey because he was interviewed on CNN. I'm going to read what he had to say, and it makes sense. It says, I'm not the face of anything opposing the Black Lives Matter movement. I was a person scared for my life who was protecting my wife, my home, my heart, my livelihood. I was a victim of a mob that came through the gate. I didn't care what color they were. I didn't care what their motivation was. I was frightened. I watched the city burn. I watched the 7-Eleven get smashed in, looted and burned for 40 minutes on live television with nobody showing up to do anything. It says he continued, I realized at the time we're on our own. When the bad things happen, they unpredictably turn real bad really fast. That same night, retired St. Louis Police Captain David Doran was murdered. These things get very bad very quickly. When those people came through the gate, where am I? When it was a mob, I didn't take the time to see their birth certificates or anything else. I was defending my house, my life, my wife, and what I spent the last 32 years building there. Sounds reasonable. Like I said, if a mob of 300 people, and some of them armed, turn up in front of your house yelling and screaming, what are you going to do? Wave at them, say, hey man, I uh, hope we can get along. No, you're not going to do that. That doesn't make any sense. That's stressful. You know, I'll let you go ahead and read that for yourself. Claims are, on the side here, or the crowd claims and people claim on their behalf, they were headed to the mayor's house. Remember, that was what started this whole thing. What was that uh, mayor's name? Uh, Lida Krusen. I don't know who that is. I don't live in Missouri. <laughs> but they claimed they were headed to the mayor's house. Problem with that is they were going in the wrong direction. According to statistics here, the house is three blocks north and another half mile to the west of where this neighborhood was. They smashed their way through this neighborhood because they wanted to smash their way through this neighborhood. They wanted to be aggressive and violent towards wealthy people. Doesn't matter how they got wealthy. Maybe this guy has been building this up for 30 years. Maybe he started with nothing. I don't know his history. And if somebody earned their way to whatever money they have, I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. I'm not jealous of people who have more than I do. I could care less. I really could. People uh, stress over that. Stress over that far too much. They worry about it too much. Are there a lot of wealthy people who got there unscrupulously? Of course. Are you going to punish all of them because of what a handful of them did? You want to protest by tearing down people's homes, burning a 7-Eleven, like this guy pointed out? Went and uh, trashed the local uh, mini-mart, the local neighborhood, and burns to the ground and nobody comes to do anything about it? But they're just supposed to sit tight and be happy about it. No. You want to defend your life, defend your property. There's nothing wrong with that as far as I'm concerned. And as far as this being peaceful protesters, very few of these protests have been what you would regard as peaceful. A lot of them have ended in disaster. And it's almost really being encouraged by the media. They, they're being put on a pedestal. They're being glorified. And that just doesn't make any sense. They want for there to be more turmoil. They want us at each other's throats. If we're fighting against each other, ultimately we're easier to control from the outside. And that's the part that everybody keeps missing. Any thoughts? Tell me what you think about all of that in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from. Hit the little bell icon. Maybe you'll get notifications from ScrewTube. Maybe not. It's a huge complaint from subscribers on this channel. They never get notified. A lot of them don't. Not everybody. Um, please do check out some of the other videos if you're new to the channel. If you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And before I forget, I wanted to give a shout out to Ashley. Crumb says hello. Crumb, of course, is the cat if you're not familiar with this channel. Anyway, 
What more can I say but thanks for watching and stay tuned because there is more to come.